Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. I'm Mariah and today's topic is trimethylaminura. I'm sorry if that's pronounced if it's pronounced wrong. And the um and the abbreviation for it is T M A U and I'm probably going to I'm definitely going to refer to the abbreviation over the actual term because the term is a lot harder for me to pronounce. In this video, I will cover everything about T M A U. This video is the research base. For the research in this video, I use one article to gather information for this topic about trimethylaminura from the National Human Ge Geome, sorry, Geome Research Institution website. TMAU is a metabolic condition in which an individual is not able to convert trimethylamine into a compound called trimethylamine N oxoid. TMAU has been around for centuries but has only gained scientific recognition and support in the past 30 years. What is trimethylamine? Trimethylamine is a compound that gives fish the fishy odor. Trimethylamine N oxoid, I'm sorry if I said that wrong, does not smell. The symptoms of trimethylamineurea or TMAU. Trimethylamine builds up in the body of patients with TMAU. The tri trimethylamine gives re sorry, gets released into the person's sweat, urine, reproductive fluids, and breath, giving off a strong fishy odor. Some people with TMU have a strong odor all the time, but most have a moderate smell that varies in in, in sorry intensity over time. Other than the, the strong fishy odor, individuals with this condition typically appear healthy. The condition seems to be more common in women than men, but scientists do not know why. Scientists suspect that that hu that female sex hormones such as proje po sorry progesterone and or estrogen aggravate symptoms. There are several reports that show the condition worsens around puberty. In women, symptoms can worsen just before and during menstrual periods, after oral contraceptions, and around menopause. What causes TMAU? People with TMAU have an impaired version of the enzyme fluorine, fluorine containing, and sorry if I say this wrong, mono or, sorry, mono oxygenated or FMO3. This is the enzyme that converts trimethylamine to trimethylamine N oxoid fmo3 is produced by the liver and is a member of a family of similar enzymes responsible for metabolate metabolizing compounds that contain nitrogen phosphate and and sorry phosphorus phosphorus the enzyme is coded for and by the the FMO3 gene. TMAU has, may, may be caused by a variation of genetic changes to the FMO3 gene. Not all the functions of the FMO3 gene enzyme is known, so, so physicians do not know what other symptoms besides odor may be associated with TMAU. What it I'm mean, sorry, is TAMU inherited? Yes. T T A sorry, T M A U is usually inherited in an autosomal recessive fashion, which means that two non functioning F M O three genes are usually needed for a person to have symptoms. Both parents of an individual with T M A U are carriers of the condition. In other words, they both carry one copy of altered gene for FMO3. Since this condition usually requires three, two altered genes to 
cause symptoms. Neither parent of an individual with TMAU has any symptoms. Sometimes carriers of one copy of a FMO3 mutation may have mild symptoms of TMAU or have temporary episodes of fishy-like odor. Due to the variety, var, sorry, variability of T, sorry, of symptoms, people with TMAU experience. Researchers think that different genetic mutations in FMO3 can influence symptoms of different genetic mutations in FM, sorry, FMO3 can influence the symptoms of the disease affecting time of onset, and how strong the odor is. They also suspect that stress and diet play a role in triggering symptoms. How is TMAU diagnosed? A urine test is used to diagnose TMAU. The person's urine is tested to look for higher levels of TMAU. Testing can be done by giving chloroline by mouth, followed by your urine coll- collection a certain number of times over a 24-hour period. Urine testing should be performed on two separate occasions when an individual is on a non-restricted diet. The test measures the ratio of trimethylamine to trimethylamine and oxoid and i'm sorry if i'm pronouncing this wrong present in the urine a carrier of this condition can be identified by the tma challenge or the tma load test this involves giving an individual a 600 mil- milligram of trimethylamine or ta tma Carriers of TMAU excrete 20 to 30 percent of total trimethylamine as the free unmetabolized amine and the rest as trimethylamine and oxoid. I mean, ox, I think it's oxide, I'm sorry. Non carriers excrete less than 13 percent of the dose as trimethylamine. Gene testing, called gene sequencing, can be used to look for mutations in the FMO3 gene. Gene testing is currently available only through research laboratories. How is TMAU treated? Sorry. There is currently no cure for TMAU. However, it is possible for people with this condition to live healthy, normal and healthy lives. The following are ways a person with TMAU can lower symptoms of odor, of odor. Avoid foods containing trimethylamine and its predecessors, chloroline, lecithin, and trimethylamine and um, oxidide. I'm probably sorry I've been saying that name wrong the whole time. I realized that now. Trimethylamine is present in high levels of milk contained with wheat fed cows. We have chlor, chlor, sorry, chloroline is present in high amounts in eggs, liver, kidney, peas, beans peanuts, soy products, I think this is basica, um, basicus, basicas, which is lima bean, sorry, which is Brussels sprouts, broccoli, cabbage, cauliflower. We have lechins and lechin contain fish oil supplements. We have trimethylamine and o- oxidide um, is present in seafood, which is fish, crustacean, sorry, Cephalo, so fish, cephalopods, and crustaceans. Fresh fish 
has lower levels of trimethylamine and oxide. Taking low doses of antibiotics to reduce the amount of bacteria in the gut, this suppresses the production of trimethylamine. Taking laxatives can reduce the intest intest intestinal um, transit time and reduce the amount of trimethylamine produced in the gut. Taking supplements to reduce the concentration of free trimethylamine in the urine. Activated charcoal taken at a dose of 750 milligrams twice daily for 10 days. We have copper clofilin. I don't know if that's right. Taken at a dose of 60 milligrams three times a day after meals for three weeks. Using soaps with the moderate pH between 5.5 and 6.5. Trimethylamine is a strong base which is a pH which has a pH of 9.8. Thus soaps with pH is closer to that of normal skin help retain the secreted trimethylamine in a less volatile form that can be removed by washing. Taking riboflavin or um, vitamin B2 supplements to enhance a residual FMO3 enzyme activity. Re- recommended intake is 30 to 40 milligrams taken 3 to five times per day with food. Avoiding factors that, that produce sweating such as exercise, stress, and emotional upsets. It is important that a person who has TMAU to follow treatment advice of their health care provider. They should not administer sorry attempt to self administer. Unfortunately at the time Enzyme at this time, enzyme replacement therapy with enzyme FM FMO three, which when absent is to believe to cause the condition, is not an option in treatment of, sorry sorry, not an option in management of TMAU. I hope you enjoyed this video. First, I'm sorry for all the mistakes I made, but. When I'm doing medical, like, kind of medical terms, it's a lot harder for me to pronounce. Um, and I'm sorry for that. But I will, I don't take my vid- my mistakes out of these videos because I want you to see, I, even though it is hard for me, I still try my best. As always, I'm open to any suggestions you have for any future video topics. Please let me know what they are in the comment section below or on my Twitter page. And my Twitter handle is at Burley Moran. I can spell it for you. At B U R L E Y M A R I A H. The next video will be on selective muti- mutism awareness month. I hope everyone's continuing to stay safe. I will post my notes in the comment section for anyone who needs them. Please like, share, and subscribe if you want to and found this video to be helpful. Feel free to share this video with anyone you think might need it. If you want to be notified for when I do any live streams or to upload any new content, you're going to want to hit the bell icon. And under the bell icon, you're going to want to select the all options. Thanks for watching. I love you guys. Bye.